All right, we're ready to continue. All right, we are now in the North Pole. We have what? Eight levels left to finish for this? I had streamed this around Christmas. Ah, you stupid ice tray. Christmas Eve, I think? I think it was the day before Christmas Eve. But I had said. That's it? That, that was. That was a level? Alright, so there was five levels. Or uh, six. Alright, so we're down now to five levels left. Deep down. So yeah, what did you guys think of Panic Restaurant? Would it be something you guys would want to play yourself? Is that something you want uh, other people to experience? Because I sure as hell want my friends to play that and see them uh, scream bloody murder. That will put the absolute biggest smile on my face. <laughs> nah. Nah. Aw, oh, come on. You don't want to be vindictive. Not me. That was a cool game. I like the style of it. Of course, you would say that, Vey. Anything that causes emotional torment like that, you are definitely behind. Nope! And that was it! Holy crap! These levels should be longer! Creepy basement! Ugh, creepy looking spider. Oops. I think Santa went down the chimney a little too hard! There are, pro there are probably more cruel games, though. Yeah, like Super Ghouls and Ghosts, or Super Star Wars. It's like, those are like one of the top 10 S SNES games. I don't know what the hardest NES games are, though. I did see that there is an NES Prince of Persia game, and the Prince of Persia games are really difficult. I have to do that because I have poor camera vision for this. <laughs> Mine. Figure that was a trap. Also, what the hell is this? On the support beam? Why does it look like it's oozing blood? I think I've heard Friday the 13th on the NS is being really- Oh yeah! I forgot about that game! Like, that was supposed to be brutal, even though you control like six kids or something. It is incredibly difficult. It's gonna take me right back to the beginning. Because there was no available halfway point. There, I saw a bell, but no way to get there. Maybe it's down this way? Oh, that's how you got it, okay.
I kind of missed the music for this. This is actually a really good soundtrack. Okay, here's where I screwed up. Ha! Success! Suck it! I was gonna say, there better not be an enemy up there, because that would be a dirty little trap. Uh huh. Dead end going that way? What the hell? Oh, there's a lower area. Um, why- why is there water? Why is there water? Santa Claus doesn't want to get his feet wet! <sighs> Candlestick. Santa's house! Even though I think we've been here like three times. Oh yeah, we get to see Santa working that love pole, baby! The pole's here, it's got heart wallpaper. This isn't Santa's house, this is Santa's house! Whoa! Even roller skate! Do those cars always take two hits? What? I thought it only took one hit. Ugh, oh, you elves are such weird looking goofballs. You look like part elf, part beaver or something. Pardon? We're close to the end of this game and they do a swing mechanic? This is a pretty good version of Jingle Bells. Yeah! Oh yeah, it is Jingle Bells from the beginning, thinking about it now. Uh... That's a weird elevator. Hmm. So... Now where do I go? <laughs> basket. What's so funny about the basket? It's gonna lead me to the basket again. What? That is so weird. Maybe down here. Careful, I don't need the plane doing the worm in the air to kill me. <laughs> Thank goodness for no fall damage. Nope! Why does Santa's house have a bottom's void? Why? 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 Is that where he puts all the bad children? In the hole? I want- I want questions answered. It's like, he forgets about Krampus and just decides just to cut out the middleman and put all the kids in a hole. <laughs> Santa just has a really tall roof. Uh. Okay? Hmm. Okay, good. Not... Can't Santa work the pole in peace?
And another... <gasps> there it is! There's a star! I don't need that tea, thank you very much. I don't need to be, uh, evil Santa. Oh, and I got an extra life. Nice. Oh, God, that gave me a heart attack. No! Get off that! Why do you have Thorny Holly in your house? Come on, I gotta be close. I just need to be very, very careful. Like that. No! Oh my god! Santa Claus needs a couple of hats. Not presents, he needs ha hats! Okay. Okay. Come on! Give me that star! Please! Yes! <laughs> teddy bear! Really tiny teddy bear. Over the USA! Uh, is that a rat with a jetpack? Dang it, stupid helicopter! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Flying footballs! Sir, why not? <laughs> why not in this magical, magical game? Ooh, nice Statue of Liberty! Sorry, kid. <laughs> Santa Claus forgot his good glasses at home. <laughs> no, no. You didn't even let me get a chance to go to that last house. Access code is... K R L H G. Okay, um. K R L H G. K. Okay. Star, the final advent calendar piece. Mr. Weather. Looks like. God. But definitely doesn't look like God now. Um, okay. What are, what's up with the cloud shields that don't shield? Also, sorry for the flashing lights. How about another sky battle? Sure, why not? Although, this sky battle is kind of easy. And these clouds in the middle do nothing! And I win? Now Christmas has been saved, and all the kids around the world have received their presents. So Santa, his reindeer, and the elves may rest until next year. And next Christmas! Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you for playing 
Sun Soft Stays Before Christmas. That's that's another game. That's another game down. So I guess that password meant nothing. And so since we're on a freaking roll, we should probably fish finish up uh, Alfred Chicken.